here tonight. Amen. I thank God for his people. Yes. I am so grateful in this dark hour to be saved. Yes. And I do not mean just saying that I'm saved. I thank God I can look into the word of God and see whether or not I'm saved. I thank God for each and every one of you. May God bless you. And may the Lord keep you. We are living in a dark hour. And it seemed like it is getting darker by the day. And I'm sure it is as time moves forward. But I never thought that I would live to see what I'm seeing today. First of all, in the religious world, And I even dread to think about this political world. It is in a mess. And I've concluded within myself, knowing just some of what this scripture has to say, or what it says, that perhaps it is like in the days of Pharaoh. God used evil folks. Amen. I mean some evil folks. To fulfill his word. And it seemed like at this time, This is my comfort. I know that some of you might not have no idea what I'm saying, but I know what I'm saying. I know without a doubt something has happened to me. And what has happened, it is not good. But I thank God for his word. If it were not for his word, and I could see without the word, I think I would be climbing the wall, and I know I can't climb the wall. But I'm grateful to God for his word. Amen. Men want to take God's word and twist it. The scripture says wretched. Right. To try and make it say what they want it to say. Right. Because you want to make your own way. But I never want to make my own way. If I am wrong, I need to say, God, I'm wrong. And I am real wrong. You're right. And I am wrong. Sometimes I think about how it is. And you hardly know what to do with yourself. But when you allow the Lord to 
Take your mind out of the flesh and put your mind in a spiritual realm. Then you can understand more what's going on. I'm glad to be here. Thank God for each and every one. Amen. And you are not here by accident. Even if you think it. Even if you feel like sometimes I need to say this. Sometimes if you feel like we are crazy. And you have all the sense. But this is what I say. And this is according to the word of God. One day we are going to find out who is crazy. We are going to find out that God is real. And this is no plaything. You can see spirits that think that they know. And they are so far off. But I glory in the things of God. And the things when the very firmaments are melting and running down, I want to be safe in the word of God. Why? Because this is the only thing in this hour that is going to stand. And ill will without Jesus. Man will burn. And not just burn for a little while, but burn for eternity. Say, well, I, I just don't believe God is like that. You keep believing what you want to believe. Time going to find us all out. Amen? I praise God. Are you happy about Jesus? Thank you, Lord. Thank God again for everyone. Thank God always for Brother Joe. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to say to Mr. Jim, I, I really be thinking about you. And I remember your request on Sunday. I have not forgotten. I want God to bless your friend. Surely I want God to bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you, Sister Deborah. Amen, Deborah Roberts. Amen. I can't think of your other name right now, but you know who I'm talking about. Amen. Thank God for you paying attention to your daddy and telling him to have a seat. That's what care is all about. When it is done because of care. Do you praise him? Amen. Amen. It is good to have someone to really care about you. Sometimes it is not seen though. Sometimes people will run to those that do not care. Amen. And kick the one aside that really cares. But I'm glad about this. God knows about it all. Amen. Thanking God for each and every one. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let us turn our Bibles again to Matthew chapter 7. Thank you, Jesus. And we would like to read verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. 
Thank you, Jesus. As I was thinking on the word of God, I was telling the Lord to help me get what I need from the scripture. Because this is a day coming. It is a day coming. That we all going to wish that we had done God's will. Meaning, we all going to wish we were saved. I'm telling you, the scripture said the darkest hour is just before day. It is darker now than it has ever been since Jesus came and hung on the cross. It is dark. And sometimes I say, it look like it's something you see being done. It seemed like, and I do say, that's crazy. But even as we look into the world, We that are a member of this church, we don't need to look too far. If we need to look at ourselves. Amen. But you can see that something is wrong. And if something is wrong, and I know that something is wrong. You know that God knows. But I'm just so grateful, God. He has already given us ample time to get things right. But man loves. that broad way. See, the reason man loves that broad way so much because you can take anything with you. You can do whatever you want to do. And the devil, because of you now, he gives you on that broad way license to sin. And men love it. Well, I'm not out in the world doing sin like I used to. But how are your insides? I'm glad that God don't look on people and say, Oh, that sure is a nice person. Oh, ooh, they so sweet. Sometimes people have told me that I was sweet. I said, I don't know about that. But one thing I know for sure, God knows us all. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful for Sunday night. Amen. I, that I believe yes. that the Spirit of God yes. came and bless. I said, I do not feel like yes. being in no um, meeting tonight. Yes. And my sister, she brought my purse and everything. And then I kind of did like this. I said, I think I'm going to stay. Yes. I said, just in case. Yes. God want to bless someone. Yes. And surely, yes. surely, yes. he did. Yes. Amen. Yes. 
Thank you, Chief. It, it is something to read the scripture which says we are not our own. We are bought with a price. But just to say that, it doesn't mean too much. But to live that, it's a whole nother thing. I praise God. God is good. Verse 14 again said, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which the leaders unto life, and few there be that find it. I didn't say that. God said it. Amen. For a subject, the gate that leads that leads to life, and a thought, few there be that find it. Thank you, Jesus. Just going to read a, a little preview. and give to those who will open their hearts just something to think on. Amen. Amen. Do not try to go with the minority. The majority. Listen, truth is usually with the minority. Do not count heads and say I am for that which has the most on its sides. But prefer that which is least liked. L-I-K-E-D. Least liked. You know people love the flesh. We are always trying to please that. And the flesh is going to cause most folk to wind up in the lake of fire. Thank you, Jesus. But prefer that which is least liked among men. Choose that which is most Difficult, I'm trying, in living now. See, you know man's not going to do that unless, that's why I got convict folks. That's right. He know they will never right. come his way. That's right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Choose that which is most difficult, most trying to flesh and blood. <coughs> that which gives you least or less license. And this is the why you will uh, make this I said right choice. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which which leadeth unto life, and few there be that will find it. Heaven gates is not found op open be by accident. There never was anybody yet who was saved by accident. And just for a reminder, not because you join a church, right. not because you get baptized in water, That's right. not because you are dutiful in the church, right. but it is to that man 
when God convicts that man, he sees that he's a lost sinner and he needs to be saved. Thank you, Jesus. The one, a nobody yet who was saved, was saved by accident. No. Few there be that find it. That's still true. To this day. It's still true. Few there be that find it. God grant us that we may be among the few. And why should we not be? Amen. The Lord said, I've cried loud. I've blown the trumpet. That's why you should be among the few. But no, man said, I want my way. God established something to try to get ways and ugliness out of people. And they say, I'm not going. Most time it's best if you don't go. If you go to be trouble. Amen. It's best not to go. Amen. God said, I see you and I know you. And God has said, and I'm not playing with you. Amen. The gate that leads to life is narrow. That few there be that found it. Christ himself is both the gate and the way. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad that man has nothing to do with it. He's too wretched and undone. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I said Christ himself is both the gate and the way. The reason we say Christ, because see, Christ was before Jesus. Christ was in the beginning with God, his Father. Thank you, Jesus. Do you praise him? Christ himself is both the gate and the way. St. John, chapter 14. Thank you, Jesus. St. <clears throat> John chapter 14, and we want to read verse 6, but just to get a real good connection, we would like to begin reading in verse, at verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, and whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Mm -hmm. Verse 5, Thomas said unto the Lord, unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? What did Jesus say unto him? Jesus said unto him, I am the way. I am not a way now. God gave Jesus authority. Yes. Yes, he did. Amen. Amen. I am the way. Yes. Not a way. Amen. But I am the way. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. The truth uh -huh. and the life. And the life. Uh -huh. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Isn't that good? Yes, it is. Right. Do not try to make your own way. I know if I make my way and you make your way, we both going to end up in hell. But the Lord has said concerning his son, I am the way. I am the way. I said Christ himself is both the gate and the way. Amen. What I'm so glad about. Thank you, Jesus. God enables men to find that gate. God does it. He has already done it. Now he's doing it by his spirit. Amen. He enables men to find that gate. St. John 6. We, we will never and we cannot get around God. No matter how hard we try. Thank you, Jesus. St. John 6 and verse uh, 44. But before we begin reading, when someone is told something, they begin to mumble within themselves and if they have a partner, I'm going to say a partner in crime that loves to talk about folks. They go to murmuring, and sometimes people don't say nothing to one another, but they talk in themselves. You still murmuring. Because I hear you, I know what you're murmuring about. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. But he, he, he tried to set these people straight. Yes. But we're not going to look at these people. We're going to look at ourselves. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We'll begin reading at verse 36. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. And believe not. It's bad not to believe. See, when we do not believe, we always go against God. That's right. Oh. Every time. All true believers are saved. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't matter because we say, I believe. God saying, do you really believe? Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse 37, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. He was some rebellious folks. And they know they talk back to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. I, now, if one comes to me, mm -hmm. I will in no wise. Yes. Under no condition, under no circumstance. That shows you when God saved, He saves. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Read that verse again. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. All that the Father giveth me shall uh -huh. come to me. My teacher, yes, yes, Dr. Oliver B. Green, <laughs> yes, God gave him to me yes. for my teacher, yes. and I love him. Yes. He's going on now to meet God, yes. going home to be with God, but I hope and I'm looking forward to meeting him one day. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Said, All that the Father giveth me, what? Shall come to me. And what? And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. I will in no wise cast out. So, well, in case I heard that right, maybe I can just do what I want to do then. 
Uh-uh. No, no, no. Those who come to the Lord, amen, know what he do for those who come to him. He born them into his kingdom. Man can't do it, you can't do it, and I cannot do it. God himself born them into his kingdom, and then he gave them his spirit to live a holy and clean life. We can't do it, my friend. It's all in Jesus. It's all in Jesus. I'm glad about that. I'm glad about that. Mm -hmm. Verse 38. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will. Isn't that wonderful? I came down, he came down to a much lower state. Yes, he did. Yes. And he did it for sinners like us. Yes. Yes, he did. Amen. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will. That's what people have forgotten. Especially those who say that they were sent to preach the gospel. They have forgotten who God is. But he already knows. And I'm glad about it. Are you glad about it, saints? Amen. Mm -hmm. Not to do mine own will. But the will of him that sent me. But the will of him that sent me. See, that's why, thank you, Jesus, we need to choose that, that narrow path. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. We need to choose that narrow path because God is the one who is in charge. Amen. Amen. On that narrow path, you can try to get out of the way, and you might. But there is no way under heaven you will stay out of the way. Why? Because God has saved those who are mine. I chase them. I correct them. And I do it for their own good. So they can be corrected and not keep walking down the wrong path. Right. Amen. Amen. That's why he said, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. See, God, he knows those who truly giving that life to him. Yes. And what did he do because they gave their life to him? He gave to them his Holy Spirit yes. because he knew man, me, you those who are saved. He knew that there was no way we would live right. right. Even after being saved. So he said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give them, thank you, Jesus, my Holy Spirit. And if they go wrong, I will chasten them. Amen. And with my chastisement, Oh, you'll be too glad yes. to get back in there yes. on the right path. Yes. You will be too glad. Yes. Do you praise him? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Read on. Verse 39. And this is the Father's will mm -hmm. which has sent me, mm -hmm. that, all, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing. Read that again. And this is the Father's this will. This is the Father's will. Mm -hmm. Which has sent me. Which has sent me. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That of all which he hath given me. That of all which he has given me. I should lose nothing. I shall lose nothing. See, no such thing as getting saved and getting lost. Right. He said, I shall lose nothing. Right. Amen. Amen. But what, what is going to do? But should raise it up again at the last day. When that first trumpet sound? Yes, sir. Raise it. The oh. dead in Christ. Yes. Yeah. Going to rise first. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh. And he that is alive and remain will, what they will do, go up to meet the yeah. Lord yes. in the air. And so shall we yeah. ever be yes. with the Lord. Read on. Verse 40. And this is the will of him that sent me, mm -hmm. that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him. Listen, this is good now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May may have everlasting life, yes. mm -hmm. and I will raise him up at the last day. And I will raise him up at the last day. Man never, he has never loved truth. Listen what they did. It's forty one. Mm -hmm. The Jews then murmured at him uh -huh. because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And he had said that earlier. Mm -hmm. You can read it. I am the bread which came down from heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 42. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph? See how people mind so carnal. I see that all the time among yes. folks who say that they are saved. That's right. So, carnal mind. Carnal. Yes. That's Amen. It. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, see, whose father they are saying? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. whose father and mother we know? Uh -huh. How is it then that he saith, I came down from heaven? Read on. Verse 43. Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. Uh -huh. He knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Verse 44. No man can come to me. This, this is our main verse here. Mm -hmm. This is our main verse. Yes. No man. I read that. Yes, those scriptures above. Yes. To get to this verse Praise right God. here. Mm -hmm. No man. Mm -hmm. Can come to me. Uh huh. Except the Father which hath sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the and last that day. And that's something. Amen. No man, no man. I told my brother one time, I said, now, we, can't, we cannot just do things. We cannot just, just get right. We need the Spirit of God, amen, to lead us. We need God, amen, to, as the verse 44 said, no man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. Nothing we can do by ourselves. When it comes to God and his righteousness. Yeah. Amen. 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 No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you, Jesus. Read just a little, bit, a little bit more of that, please. Verse 45. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Amen. See, people will think that just because they sit under the truth. Sometimes they feel like well, I sit under the truth. I hear the truth. 
But hearing, hear mean when you really hear, you obey. Amen. Do you praise the Lord? I'm so glad others see evil spirits working. Amen. God don't like it though. Amen. Hallelujah. Read on. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Uh -huh. Verse 47. Going. Verily, verily, I truly, say unto you. Truly, truly, I say unto you. Uh -huh. He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Do you praise Amen. him? Amen. Are you glad Amen. about it? You're going to Lord. leave that right there. Yeah. Are you glad about Jesus? God enables men to find that gate. Amen? Amen? Amen. Do you praise him? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And he also says, that he is the way. Let us go to the book of Hebrews. Chapter 9. Verse 8. The Holy Ghost, this, I'm sorry, the Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all was yet made manifest while as the first tabernacle was yet standing. We are so thankful for the new covenant. Amen. Amen. It could not be a way until the old. I'm going to say was no longer useful. When Jesus came and gave his life, there were no more sacrifices. When Jesus gave his life, he gave it once and for all, never to be repeated again. Amen. Do you praise him? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to skip down to verse 11. But Christ being come a high priest mm -hmm. of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands. Mm -hmm. Isn't that, that wonderful? Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Now, nothing man can do. Yes. yes. God could not accept that. That's, That's right. right. Nothing man could do. Yes. Uh huh. Not made with hands. That is to say, not of this building. Uh huh. Verse 12, neither by the blood of goats and calves. And we know that this is what people did. Uh -huh. Amen. They was offering up all these sacrifices. Uh -huh. But when Jesus came, one sacrifice, once and for all, never to be repeated again. Amen. Mm -hmm. Neither by the blood of goats mm -hmm. and calves, uh -huh. but by his own blood he entered in once, once? into the holy place, uh -huh. having obtained eternal redemption for us. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. 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 That is the way. Yes. Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You say, I'm the way, the truth, yes. and the and life. The, life. <laughs> the truth. Let us go to St. John, chapter 1, 
Thank you, Jesus. The truth. Talk about the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You begin reading at verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Uh-huh. Even to them that believe on his name. Do you praise him? Amen. 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 Uh-huh. Verse 13. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, mm -hmm. nor of the will of man, but of God. Amen. Amen. This is our main verse here. Yes. Verse 14. Verse 14. And the word was made flesh. And the word was made flesh. And mm -hmm. dwelt among us. Mm -hmm. And we beheld his glory. Mm -hmm. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. Yes. Do you praise him? Yes. What a savior. Yes. St. John. We'll just move over to verse 17. For the law was given by Moses. Uh -huh. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Yes. Do you praise him? Yes. I am the way, the truth. I am. Yes. Yes. Says the Lord. Yes. I am. Yes. The truth. Yes. Lord. You know the word of God is truth. Yes. You play around with it. Yes. One day, one day your soul will be damned if you do not repent. Amen. Read on. No, we don't want any more there. St. John 8. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And you shall know the truth. And the truth yes. Yes. shall make you free. Yes. Amen. Glory. I tell you, I, when I see this sister so happy, and yes. that she cannot sit down. Yes. I said, freedom. Yes. Freedom. Yes. Freedom. Some folks be wondering what's wrong with you. I never wonder. Amen. I know why you are thankful. Because you know that what has been done for you, what Jesus did for you, he did not have to do it. And see, you realize that. Therefore, you are thankful. Amen. Amen. Do you praise God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. 18. St. John 18. Still talking about truth. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad about truth because Jesus is truth. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes, he is. Thank you. Read verse 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Art thou a king then? This is what Pilate said, which was the enemy of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. That, and that's what they said in this. Yes. Did yes. yes. they write up on the thing? Yes. The king of Jews. That's right. King of they Jews. said it. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Read on. To this end was I born. 
Mm -hmm. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. That I should bear witness yes. unto the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Amen. If you are of the truth, you don't try to make your own way. And you don't, you do not be fussing when someone comes to try to show you your error. Amen. You don't always be trying to fight back. Trying to make yourself right anyway. We cannot make ourselves right no way. Amen. But I'm grateful to God what he has done for us. He says, I am the life. St. John 11. John 11 and verse 25. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. Yes. Mm -hmm. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet yes. shall he live. Yes. Amen. Read. Verse 26. Mm -hmm. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Mm -hmm. And he said, Martha, uh -huh. Uh -huh. do you believe that? Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. What did she say? Verse 27. She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which shall come, which should come into the world. It will be something if you could get your loved ones. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. Bring them. Yes. And they hear the master yes. talking. Yes. Oh, yes. And then he asks, do you believe this? Yes. And wouldn't it be a wonderful thing mm -hmm. if you could hear one of your loved ones say, Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. I believe. Yes. Yes. I believe that thou art the Christ, Glory. the Son of God. of God, who should come into the world. Praise the Lord. Are you glad about Jesus? Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. No man comes to the Father. Amen. Let us go to First Timothy, chapter 2, This God who have all men to be saved, mm -hmm. verse 4. Two, verse Timothy, yes, chapter 2 and verse 4. Yes, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. For there is one God. For there is one God. Uh -huh. And one mediator. Between God and men. And one mediator between God and men. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Yes. One. Yes. 
Who is he? The man, Christ Jesus. The man, Christ Jesus. Yes, Are you glad Lord. about Jesus? Yes. Yes. And what he has done for wretched folks. Amen. Like us. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. I'm glad to be saved. Yes. Amen. Is it amazing? How did the devil kick up his heel now? Yes. Amen. Thank you, Father. God is good, Saint. Yes, he is. Thank you, Jesus. And he said they can only come, he say, or has said, but by me. St. John, I'm glad that there's only one way. Folks have tried to make it be so many ways, but there's only one way. Thank you, Jesus. St. John chapter 10. Thank you, Jesus. He said he would enable men. Isn't that good saying? Yeah. How God would enable men to find that. Find that gate. The boy has been made. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. St. John 10, and we'll begin reading at verse 7. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Truly, truly, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. I am the door of the sheep. Amen. Amen. Uh huh. Verse 8. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Amen, all, and that is so true. Amen. I'm telling you, man does not say we are only thieves and robbers. Well, I ain't never stole, I never stole anything. Well, God said you were a thief. That's right. Amen. Because you steal from him. That's right. You won't obey him. That's right. You will not do his will. That's right. You will not do what he has said. So you are a thief. Yes. Amen. All that came ever came before me yes. are thieves and robbers. That's right. But the sheep did not hear them. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Amen. God knows you're a sheep before you become one. Yes, he does. Praise right. Oh, yes. and he knows those who will never become yes. one. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If a man cannot see that he's wrong, mm -hmm. he can never become a sheep. Amen. If he does not see that he is in need of a savior, yeah. he can never become a sheep. Yeah. Amen. Read on. Verse 9. I am the door. I am the door. By me if any man enter in. By me if any man enter in. He shall be saved. He shall be saved. Any come in by me. That's right. You shall be saved. Be saved. Mm -hmm. And what will you be able to do? And shall go in and out and find pasture. Isn't God good? Amen. Amen. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. I tell you, the gate that leads to life. It's a gate that leads to life. And then there's another gate that leads to destruction. But the gate that leads to life, the scripture has said, few there be that find it. Now, do you want to be among the few? Amen. 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 Glory to God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Let us not try and look at the world. People make statements like, well, oh, they have a lot of people over there. I told you in the beginning, don't count heads now. Amen. You can't go by that. According to scriptures, most folks will be lost. Amen. Most folks love themselves. They love flesh. Then they love obeying flesh. Which will surely lead you to damnation. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 7 again. Verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Did we hear that? Yes, ma'am. But according to scripture, most mm-hmm. will go on that broad road. Verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Amen. Thank you, you there be. I think about you, Brother Derek. And I knew God had done something for you. Yes, yes. But I praise God for this. I was able to talk to you. I said, Brother Derek, I know God has blessed you. But I notice you do not fellowship with the saints. When that was said to him, it looked like he became another new man. I said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Another new man. When we were going on vacation, and we did go on vacation, I did once after, after that. He was totally new. Amen. I said, Lord, I thank you. Yes. See, sometimes when we, when the Lord saves us, I'm talking about really save us. Sometimes we think maybe that's it because God has delivered us from certain things. But God, he tells us to fellowship with the saints. But he obeyed. God blessed him. Look like beyond measure. Amen. I praise God. Thank you, Jesus. None of our ways, none of our ways is right. Amen. But I'm praising God for those who will obey. Are you glad about Jesus? Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied, meaning we've we preached in your name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them. Lord, thank you, Jesus. I never knew you. I didn't know you then, and I don't know you now. Who are you? Where did you come from? I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that works iniquity. May God bless you. Amen. And may God keep you. For God so loved the world, he gave heaven best, his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but will have life everlasting. May God bless you, and may God keep you. 
That's my prayer. Brother Derek.